Testimony continued today in the murder trial of expatriate Aaron Hernandez. One of the hardest things for a mother to see and hear how her child was killed. And today, before Odin Lloyd's mother took the stand, a judge warned her not to cry. Joining us now with more details from court today is Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen. Well, Mike, actually three different people took this stand, each with a different perspective on Lloyd's life, his girlfriend, his mother, and the first officer who arrived after Odin was killed. Another day of testimony in Odin Lloyd's murder trial, starting with Odin's girlfriend, Shania Jenkins, the sister of Aaron Hernandez's fiance, then Odin's mother. She was asked to contain her emotions during questioning. The focus from the victim's family shifted to the crime scene, though, when the prosecution called the first officer who was on the scene to the stand, North Attleboro Police Captain Joseph Dorenzo. He told jurors the first thing he did on scene at the industrial park. I put on some latex gloves and uh, just, just in case grabbed a CPR mask and, and walked up the, um, the dirt area into a, this construction area. When I approached, you could see some tire tracks. Um, it appeared to be uh, coming from that area onto the repross gravel. Um, so I went to the left to, to avoid the tire tracks for obvious reasons. Dorenzo said he approached Lloyd's body. I knelt down and uh, immediately touched his neck uh, to feel for a pulse. Okay. And were you able to find a pulse? No, his, he was cold and his skin was hard and there was no pulse. When you say you saw some other wounds, uh, just describe what you saw. Uh, what appeared to me is uh, bullet wounds to his chest uh, and a bullet wound to his right flank, uh, which is right near my knee. Well, that was how the day in court ended. Tomorrow morning, he's expected to take the stand again. The defense has not yet had an opportunity to cross-examine him. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.